The D.C. Board of Elections today ruled supporters of Initiative 82 have enough petition signatures to qualify to be on the ballot. The question for voters will be whether tipped workers like hairstylists, parking lot attendants, and restaurant staff should be paid a $15 an hour minimum wage. But Initiative 82 won't be on the June primary, as organizers had hoped, because of a delay in the Board of Elections certifying the signatures, despite the organizers turning the petitions in on time. The chair of the Board of Elections acknowledged it took his staff longer than normal. We just ran out of time because it was so close um, and um, unfortunately had to take an extra um, uh, 10 days or something in that neighborhood to, to make, to reach the final and correct determination. Um, and, um, you know, it's unprecedented in terms of, of the process on our part. Because of the delay, the question won't go to the voters until the general election in November, which supporters of Initiative 82 say is unfair. I'm excited that we're qualifying for the ballot, but there's a huge concern with our campaign that we played by the rules, we submitted the signatures on time to qualify for the primary ballot. An attorney for the Restaurant Association, which opposes Initiative 82, told the board they plan to challenge the validity of some of the signatures. We would just formally object to certification at this time as the challenge that was properly filed and has been determined. During today's hearing, both sides complained about the Board of Elections' ability to maintain up-to-date voter records, which they say played a role in the delay. I respectfully disagree that any errors were committed. It was Nothing was remiss. Nobody was irresponsible uh, in any way. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. In 2018, D.C. voters approved a minimum wage increase, but the council voted to overturn the will of the voters. If the initiative passes again, it's unlikely the council would overturn it again, as the makeup of the council has changed. Now the majority supports the increase.